Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. What's up? What's popping? Jumalanaka. This is another Generations The Legacy review of some scenes I saw on last night's episode. So I want to be starting with the character Mazui. This man has some nerve on him. Like the way I feel about this character goes beyond every fiber of my being. I cannot stand his behavior towards his pet. So I found out that he hired a private investigator to track Spare's whereabouts. This man had the audacity, the nerve to track and find out where Spare has been spending her nights. Who are you? Who are you? You want to act like the husband now? After all the bull crap you put her through, now you want to act like the husband. You, you want to know where she's been, where she's sleeping, who she's sleeping with. Who are you exactly? Don't act like the husband when you have never acted like her husband before. Why now? Because she's slipping through your fingers, that's why. I cannot stand him. He's so selfish. He wants his cake and eat it too. That's how I see it. And that's how I'm going to call it the way I see it. I cannot deal with his behavior. He's so selfish, self-centered. All that he cares about is the Moroccan name and himself. Anyway, moving from that, I want to focus on Morexa. So Morexa found out that he has some serious condition and he, the tests came back as a brain aneurysm. So he has a brain aneurysm that can burst in any time, but he needs to go and have a surgery to get it removed. But he hasn't told Lucy. Lucy is worried sick about her husband, but Maraxi does not want to tell Lucy how serious his health problems are. I feel like that's a bit selfish of him. I do understand why he's not telling her. He's scared, you know. He's pride. He doesn't want to believe her that he can just die any minute. But if he doesn't go for that surgery, he might die in time. Like he can just literally fall and die. I'm scared for him. I just wish he could tell Lucy because Lucy loves this man, you know? And I feel like he owes her that much. But we'll see how it goes. But obviously Marjorie knows about it and he hasn't told Lucy, but he's there for his friend Morexa, which is a nice thing to be honest. Um, anyway, moving from that, <laughs> this is my favorite scene. This was my favorite scene. So, like I said before, um, as you tracked down where his pair had been spending her night, so she. So she was sleeping with Leo Long and Marjorie found out where she has been and this guy had the confidence to just go to Leola's place and 
confront him. I'm thinking, wait a minute. So you're going to confront someone you've never met before? For a woman you see you don't love? I'm confused. Dot com. No, seriously, I am confused. I wrote her, I said, Loyola puts Majwe in his place. Like, he told Majwe where to get off, like, and he was shocked. He even told Majwe to stop playing the victim because he's not the victim in the situation. Which is the truth. He's not the victim. And I was so happy. I was so happy. I was like, yes, Leona, yes, please. Tell him the truth about his self entitled little butt of his. Like, I'm so glad he did that. I am so, 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 so glad. Okay, spare, actually. Um, spare. <sighs> Poor Spare. <laughs> this girl, she never gets catch a break, does she? Spare job is at risk because she has reported the crime at the hospital. She might lose her license to practice medicine, but who cares about that? No one. Like, Jack, the dad, just went and told Spare that he lost a lot of money because Spare came clean about the unregistered medical supplies. Excuse you! Hey, la. Your daughter is about to lose her job for being an honest person. And all you care about is your money that you've lost in a freaking company while your daughter is going through the most right now. She's about to lose her license to practice medicine. She's about to lose her job, her source of income, and all you care about is the money you lost because she reported the crime that you and your business partners are in. How selfish can you be? Like, if I was pet and my own dad put me in that situation, I would disown Sass. Like, that's how I feel about it. She's been through a lot because of this man. Jack does not care about pet. He doesn't. He pretends to. As long as he brings money to his pocket, that's all he cares about. Like, what kind of father is he? I'm just lost for words when it comes to him, really. Ugh. Anyway, uh, I'm going to match his character once again. Eh? So he decided to go to where Spare's working. But Maji tried to embarrass Spare at her job but failed horribly. <laughs> Spare was like, do you know what? You came to try to embarrass me? Nah, my guy, that's not gonna work. It's not. You have lost the right to call yourself my husband. And for you to come in and try to embarrass me, it's not going to work. I got better things to do. I got 99 problems in that one in you. You are not one of those problems. So please, bugger off. Thank you very much. Uh, let's talk about Jaira.
Gerard has left to make his movie with the money that he got from the drawing. He got like, how much? Is it one point something million? This guy, I feel like he robbed the golf floor blind. I just can't stand him. But anyway, I wish him luck wherever he is with the money that he's probably going to spend ridiculously. Uh, I just hope that whatever he's doing goes well. But as the actor himself, I hope he comes back to Generations. But the Gerard's character, I honestly couldn't care less about him because he's selfish. Uh, that's my opinion on him. He went to Uncle Kabisi and said to tell him that he's leaving, he's going to make his own movie. But they don't care. Like, it's just, I don't really don't care about him. Uh, there was a scene where Cosmo and Rex were talking about life and Cosmo could see that something was worrying Marexa and he tried to get it out of him but Marexa was glued shut, his mouth was glued shut and he was not going to say anything but he did say when I am gone please take care of Lucy, the cock flow. Lucy, you know, as the man of the house, which I found really nice of him to do. But we'll see. Uh, there was a scene where Lucy and Rexa were talking at the lounge because she wanted to know what's going on with her husband. But as usual, Marjorie pretended like he doesn't know what Lucy's talking about, and now Lucy's still in the dark, which I think is so sad because she really wants to know what's going on with her husband but no one's telling her you know they had a confrontation by the way like because lucy can tell that they're hiding something so we'll see uh going to lucy and paul so <laughs> lucy realized that the african bee is not sitting anymore so she wants to cut out the buying the African beer from her because it tastes different every time so psh, the business is over before it even began I feel sorry for him Paul but he needs to perfect his ingredients and the taste of that African beer because it can't taste one thing the first day and then the next day it tastes different like there will be like two different flavors in one drink which shouldn't happen so Lucy's already losing customers and now she doesn't want to lose her regular customers. So it cuts everything off like the normal business with them both. Uh Jack and Gungan's characters were in a scene together. They were talking about how Jack is going down and how Gungan has learned a lot from Jack and the best man sh shall win. I think what they're playing at is going, they're going in circles, really. I feel like they're going in circles. No one's going to win this game because they're all different when it comes to the territory. Like, Jack has power in different ways that Gungani has power in his own right, but in different ways as well. So it's like competing with a dragon and a dinosaur like there are two different things anyway we'll see how it goes because it looks like that storyline is going to keep going and i'm excited to see what's going to happen uh going to spare animals once again there was a scene when they were at the morocco mansion and spare was in, in her own head she was just thinking about her life and then she was pouring juice and Marge was behind her and just staring at her. Like, I'm thinking, why are you being the creepy guy right now? <laughs> anyway, so when Spare was about to go to, to back to the fridge and put the juice back in the fridge, she knocked uh, Marge and Marge was like, what are you doing? And Spare's like, move, move. I want to clean up the mess. 
of yours once again like these people are doing the most why don't you just get divorced already your characters are exhausting my energy your whole storyline is ex exhausting my energy they're going in circles they had an agreement to stay apart so when Spare is trying to move on and stay apart from Masri, Masri is pulling her back. It's like, what do you want, Masri, from Spare? What do you want? You saying you don't want to get married, stay married to her, but you still want to be with her. It, you can't have your cake and eat it too. It's impossible. It's not going to work. Never. 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 It's going to Like, I am just baffled on how... Marjorie's acting about Spade trying to live her whole life. She even said it. She's like, we had an agreement, but you do not detect how I live my life. That's the truth. And it's the truth. The truth stains when it comes from the person you, you are possibly, like, you're in love with, really. Like, who who is he, really? What, do you, what, what does he want? He's confused. Uh, lastly... So, Spare went back to Yola's apartment after she had, like, the squabble with Masri and she wanted to spend the night with Liola. But Liola's like, nah, you know, he doesn't want to be in between Spare and Masri's drama right now. He has a lot to think about. He feels like Spare is still trying to figure out who she is apart from the marriage and... He said he does not want to be Spare's escape from her husband. She needs to deal with that first and then then focus on them. And which which I think it was a nice reality check that she needed to hear because it's not say, he's not saying well over. He's saying that you need to find out what you want before we can continue with our newfound connection. Because I cannot be your escape from your husband. You need to deal with him first. And Spare was there like, oh crap. Okay, what does it mean? It means go fight with your husband. Get your husband out of your system. Sort yourself out and deal with your marriage first. And then come to this new relationship with Liola with a clear mind and set boundaries of what you want from him that's what he's saying he's not saying it's over he's saying i'll be there when you're ready to move on with a clear mind because right now you're not so that's it for today please do not forget to like subscribe and like like i said um this is a bit longer video than usual because i had a lot to say anyway that's it peace i'm out